Hey guys, so I thought I'd give a very basic introduction of how to add the Unreal Engine Nano plugin into an Unreal Engine project. Okay, so I'm just going to create a basic uh, sample 3D person game. It's a test project. Don't really care about how it looks. Um, just going to test the Nano. Okay. loading I know what I'm gonna need to do test I'm gonna need to download the plugin uh, the Unreal Engine plugin so just gonna get that to get up it's not currently on the marketplace All I need from it is this plugins folder. Just going to cut that, drag it here, create that, and regenerate the project files. Just so that it correctly adds in here. I probably should also add it as a dependency. Okay, reload. Okay, I've got the plugins folder. Just going to build the project. This is the basic description of the plugins, the Nano plugin. Shouldn't take too much longer. Here we go, gonna run it. Okay, just gonna click play to make sure it's working. It is. Look, so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a game instance. This is what's gonna house the, uh, the nano variable. I'm gonna call it nano game instance, just like that. So we're gonna hook into the init event. To construct the nano objects, one of the ones are nano manager. And we need to set the RPC URL. I can't remember what it is. I'm going to consult my, my uh, test level because it contains the publicly available uh, path. Let's hook these up actually. Pass an auto. Yeah. So from this, we're going to want to construct the WebSocket object. Just going to reference this off again. And then we want to connect to the WebSocket. Mostly that, but the port is one and two. The URI stuff is WS. So once we've connected, or or if there's an error, just going to call the onConnect handler. Just going to data from that. We want to make sure to check the error variable. You always want to do this. So if there was an error. Socket. 
Zoom in a bit so you guys can see a bit better. And if there wasn't an error, we want to uh, take it out of this so it's more context sensitive. We want to create uh, what we want to call the, the filtered confirmation WebSocket listener. This is very important for um, things like. The watch delegate, which we're about to use, it won't get it won't properly internally um, decide to call that unless we set up this. So it's very important. Okay, so that's the all the connections to our proxy servers done. So what functionality do I want? I want to create a seed, and I want to be able I want to watch changes to that seed. Memory manager, let's watch changes to the seed. Well, we need an account, but we can call the handy um, nano function. If you just type nano, you'll get all the blueprint functions. We want an account from uh, memory, we want account from seed. Account from seed. So we use the zero index. So we've got the account. Hooked up the watcher, the WebSocket objects. You can also make those variables, just being a bit lazy. And in this instance, we'll listen to the delegate. You don't have to do do this. You can just set up the the watcher if if that's if you only care about um, things like uh, listening to the raw WebSocket output. But in this case, we want to listen to the specific. Account, so we'll just create an event for that. Account for data. Oops. Again, we want to listen to what the error is. We'll check what the error is. If there's no error, we'll just print. Does the random stuff. Okay, so how how are we going to um, get funds to this? Easiest way is probably with a QR code. Um, so I'm just going to go back to my test level and see a bunch of uh, see a bunch of blueprints. Much easier. How do we get QR code? After we've watched, we'll click and click that. And we'll create that. So that, that just creates the blueprint. This creates the, the QR code texture. And we need to pass it an account, which it's going to list, it's going to uh, receive funds to. And then we'll add that to the viewport. Okay, so we need to make sure to hook in game instance object in the game instance okay so i'm going to click play it's the qr code didn't see any error output okay so i'm going to get the natrium wallet scan it enter some nano in send sent huzzah Try that again, send this is don't want to send too much because I'm probably gonna lose this seed. Okay, scan the QR code and then three, two, one, send. Bam. Okay guys. Um there's plenty more you can do if you want to know more about how the plugin works, check out my other video the, uh, about the test level. And um, happy building uh, your nano projects in Unreal.